Gamescom is here, and Rare was on site to give us new information regarding Forsaken Shores and the next Build Rat adventure. Stay tuned. The next Build Rat adventure is going to be called Cursed Cruise and will come after Cursed Sails. This new adventure will introduce Cursed Cannibals to the world. All nine Cursed Cannibals will return, but will not be purchasable items. Instead, you'll have to find them throughout the world. There wasn't any mention of how we'll find them, but it's possible that the quest line will guide us in the right direction. Along with those will come a new means to manage the Cannonball inventory. The combinations of this quest will be based around the Cursed Cannibals, but no specific details were given. Also coming with Cursed Cruise is a new flag type called the Reaper's Mark, which when put on, it lets everyone else on the in the world see where you are on the map. This is useful for people organizing events, games, or maybe some trickery. The flag wasn't specified as being part of the combinations, but it will definitely help since you can draw other players to you for combat with the Cursed Cannonballs. We are also given new information about Forsaken Shores, the next major content update coming to the Sea of Thieves. In this update, there will be a new region called Devil's Roar. There's no mention exactly where on the map this region will exist, but likely the new questline will guide us to this new area and requires to bring something back, or deliver something, or both, we don't know. In this new region, there will be multiple volcanic islands. They won't be constantly erupting, and in fact, will not be erupting at the same time. It sounds like they will be timed so that you can travel to them while they are, or are not, active. The quest will likely require obtaining something that exists, is accessible, or created from the eruptions. From the teaser, it looks like it could be collecting lava or crystals or gems that will form where the volcanic rocks land or from the lava flowing on the island. You may have to chase down the various falling rocks and quickly dig them out. During the active times, the water will be superheated, and swimming in it near the islands will cause damage. The islands will also have geysers that can push you up into the air, adding to the difficulty while you traverse the islands. Rowboats will also be a part of this update, and will be useful to get close to islands so you don't have to swim in the dangerous superheated waters. They are also less likely to be hit by falling volcanic ash and rocks, whereas the ships will be more easily hit. Unfortunately, there wasn't any footage of the rowboats in action, or how they will attach to the ships. It was mentioned that they will not automatically come with the ship, but instead have to be found and are one-time use, so take care of them. It's possible you could find them completely intact, or that you have to find wrecked ones and have to repair them by using planks. Along with the volcanic islands, there will be a new outpost or two in this new region. And with the new outpost comes new merchant-style voyages known as cargo runs. It wasn't specified if these will be through the existing merchant faction or a new faction. These voyages will have you take items to another outpost, but this time you are given the items rather than being told to find them. This can include rum, which the bottles can break so store them safely, plants, which require water to stay alive, clothes, which require staying dry, and possibly more. Now I'm sure you're asking when will Forsaken Shores launch. I'm happy to tell you that Forsaken Shores will arrive on September 19th, which is also known as International Talk Like a Pirate Day, ITLAPD. It will be an extra piratey day for sure. If you like this video, hit the like button below. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below as well. If you want to stay up to date, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching.